Santa's very busy. He can only be at one place at one time. Well, we got a lot of elves. Good job. Yippee. I have Santa's personal number. You know, everybody else got his work number. I got his personal number. Santa's super sweet. And he loves everybody. As long as you're on the good list, not the naughty list, because Santa don't play. Each year, hundreds of thousands of letters are sent to Santa Claus, but what happens to them? Well, that was a clip from the heartwarming documentary inviting viewers into the magical journey of children's wishes and dreams during the holiday season. And joining me now to share more about Dear Santa, the series is director Dana Nachman. Dana, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes, this is so heartwarming and so touching. And it was originally a film and it's turned into a series. Where did the idea come from to start this? So more than 10 years ago, my mom gave me a book uh, to read to my, my little kids about the letters to Santa and what happens to them. And I didn't know that the United States Postal Service has been dealing with them for more than 100 years. And I thought to myself, this would be an amazing documentary. But at that time, there weren't you know, heartwarming documentaries. So then um, fast forward 10 years, I made a couple films that were for family. Bat Kid Begins about the amazing Bat Kid in San Francisco and Pick of the Litter about Guide Dogs for the Blind. And I thought, okay, now that I've had these under my belt, I think they'll let me do this. So I pitched the United States Postal Service and they said yes. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. What, tell me the story, how does it work? It's, um, what is the program? program called and then what does all the volunteers do? Sure, sure. So it's called Operation Santa and um, the letters, you know, kids write to, you know, as everybody puts them in the post box, they say Santa Claus, North Pole, whatever. And they take all the letters and they bring them to the elves uh, in the mail room. Those elves, they put them up online now. They used to have it where you can rummage through them, but now they put them up online. They take away all the personal identification so it's, it's safe. Um, and then we can all be Santa's elves and adopt them. So I just adopted two letters. So one from Kyrie, who said he was a good boy now. <laughs> I like that. When he, when he, when he couched Forget it. Forget about the past. <laughs> when he couched it, I was like, okay, you're my guy. Yeah. And the other one was Tyler, who likes candy. So I was like, okay, I can't. I have to get these. Yeah. So I can now um, get the gifts. Santa told me what to get. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I send them in the mail. That and then they so get them, cool. and there's a little note from Santa and from the, from me as the elf. And so our film and series, it, it showed that. Mm -hmm. So we meet the kids as they're writing the letters, and then what we don't get as real-life real, real life elves is to see how the kid reacts. Yeah. So that's the, that's the best part. And then so following these kids, um, you know, then following the elves, you got to see the delivery. <laughs> yeah. what, did you, what did you learn from the kids and also from the people who are volunteering as elves? Yeah, so I just love the concept. As a, as a person, as a filmmaker, of childlike wonder, whether we're dealing with actual kids or not. And I think this program really encapsulates that. So of course, seeing the kids get their gifts and their smiles on their face is crazy cute. But being able to have that wonder and being the adults in it are as fascinating to me as well. And they all have this. And we realize as givers, you know, whether it's Giving Tuesday or anything else, that we get more out of it as people than, what, than who we give it to every time. Yes, yeah. No, I, I was just talking about this actually the other day, is just the, the joy of seeing kids during Christmas opening up their presents. Um, there's nothing like it. There's no. nothing like it. So I think that this is just so cool. Um, you mentioned that you signed up as an elf. I want to, you know, just touch on this again because anyone watching thinks, I want to do this. How do they sign up and how do they get the gifts? Yes, so they can go on to USPS Operation Santa and you just sign up as a, um, as a adopter and then you can pick your own letter. It's the cutest thing. So you can read through all the letters yes. and kind of see which child you yes. want. Yes, I looked up last night. So sometimes, you know, letters are coming in, but people adopt them really fast. And I did look last night just to confirm there are still letters up. And I think you have until the 16th to, to mail, to accept your letters and then mail them off. Okay, amazing. Yeah. What do you hope that people take away from this film and series? I just hope it gives people a little joy and light and inspiration, whether they want to be Santa's elves or just go through life. I mean, there's a lot of bad things in the, in the news and the media now. And I just think there's a lot of joy in this world and people are doing this in their communities and their churches and their synagogues all over the world and so this is just kind of encapsulates that and I think it makes you feel good I, I, I can't imagine somebody would come away from this feeling worse about the world only better yeah well congratulations this new series just kicked off on Friday where can people check it out sure it's on Hulu um, right now and so um, I'd say start with season two because it's the most current and then go back okay perfect <laughs> well Dana thank you so much for joining me here this is thank so you. exciting and I just Congratulations on, Thank on getting Thank you so this much. Done. This is very fun. Yeah.